G'day, it's Breck here, and I'm here once again with a, another Leaks Rules video. Uh, this one is all about war bikers, and it was requested by Zero Hero. So, let's get stuck into it. Now, war bikers, they're fast. Power level of four, 25 points per model. They're down two points, and I see we've got Two stat lines, one for the boss knob on Warbike and one from the Warbiker itself. So you're gonna have one boss knob on Warbike. The movement is 14 inches, weapon skill three plus, ballistic skill five plus, strength five, toughness five, wounds four, attacks three, leadership seven, and a four up save. And the Warbiker all the same except when it comes to attacks two attacks and the leadership six and a four up save now the first thing oh and also the strength is four now what is interesting is the toughness didn't go up i would have expected that the toughness may have gone up being a bike because generally the bike gives that extra bit of toughness but no they didn't do that that's a little odd and you can have two and two to eight of them so you can run up to nine every model is equipped with two dagger guns they don't mention if you take sluggers or choppers okay let's have a look at the weapons two times dagger guns range 18 inches dagger five threes that means you get 10 shots if you're up and close and personal at nine inches Strength five, no neg to the armor penetration, and a damage of one. Now the big chopper, I suppose you put that on the knob, is the normal stats for a big chopper. So plus two, strength, neg one AP, damage two, and the power claw on a knob as well. Strength two, AP neg three, damage two. That seems a bit odd, I would have thought the damage might have been gone up a bit, but no. No, that's, that's, I'm not quite sure I like that. I think a uh, power claw should have more damage than a big chopper. Even if it was a random, like a D3, I think that would be better. And each time the attack is made with this weapon, subtract one from the attack hits roll. And with the war gear, ah oh, look, my prediction about the sluggers and choppers is wrong, because a war bike, bike can take them. Yay! The boss knob on the war bike can be equipped with one of the following. One slogger, one big chopper, one chopper, or one power claw. The abilities. Okay, each time this unit advances, do not make an advance roll. Instead, until the end of the phase, add six to the move characteristics of the model in this unit. I like that. It's nice and consistent. So you'll get 20 inches. But if you do advance, you might not be able to attack. But you could take advantage of that dagger rule, which is not bad. It's, a, it's an okay payoff. Cloud of smoke. Each time a ranged attack is made against this unit, subtract one from an attack's hit roll. So, nice. That means they're hitting you a bit less, which is that's good. A little cover save. And the normal mob rule. Uh, wah, and here we go. And the keywords is Ox Clan, the keywords Core, Biker, Speed Freaks, and War Bikers. So the Core means it'll probably get buffs from the various War Bosses. Okay, well, there you go. There's the War Bikers. Um, what do you think? I, I like it that they're cheaper. I think that people will be dusting theirs off. I may even have to buy a few new ones. I think I will. What do you think? Um, do you like it? Do you dislike it? Comment below. Let's have a conversation. Okay, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed that. If you did, please like, subscribe, and share. Do all the algorithmy things. And if you would like to help me out financially, uh, there's always a buy me a coffee and Patreon. The links are in the description. Okay, trying to toddle off. So, remember, if you go on crumping, you've got to bash early and bash often.